can do to make some adjustments for game number two. All right, guys, your boy PXGI Redman. Send out your tweets at PXGI Redman, X Island Expander, and at Versus Gameplay. Let us know what you think of the show. Hopefully, we in there now. UFN 2014. Let's get it. All right, game number two underway. Starts with a clap. He's pushing him slowly back to the corner. Ooh, nice overhead. Relentless with his pressure. Ooh, catches him pressing the button. Ooh, nice ground pound from Jaren. Switching it up. Ooh, ooh, catches him with another ground pound. All right, Ultra One, let's see if he's going to get away. Now, Hiko is a little bit bigger. Ah, uh, he couldn't get... Oh! Oh, uh, the reset. Oh, nice. Nice. He's making very good use of her teleport and her... Um, Oh, he's going for the pressure. Oh, he gets it. Is he going to get the standard medium punch after? Oh, he misses it. That would have been for the kill. Oh, oh, nice stuff. Oh, double KO. UFN 2015. I respect it. Oh, catches him. Okay, whips it. I catch him with the crouch short. Links into the stinger. Oh, nice pressure. Goes for the overhead. He backs up. Oh, gets the neutral jump fierce. And this is looking very strong for Jaren. This is his game to lose. Catches him on the other side. And Jaren takes game number two against Getter 504. We are all tied up at one one. All right, guys, for those of you tuning in early, much appreciated. Tweet, let the people know that it's live. Let them know that we out here getting it done. Ultra Fight Night 2015, we back in full effect. There are definitely some uh, systematic changes that are happening with PXG, and it means a lot for the viewers. So that means that from henceforth, there is a UFN every single week. No lack in between. We are also starting our weekly free to enter tournament where you receive panda points that can go towards prizes for the season uh, as well as PXG championships where you also get panda points. So there's a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline that I'm excited to tell you guys about tonight. And I can't wait to share that with you. And shout outs to Ken Meister. What's going on, bruh, bruh? Tuna Texan. One frame link. What's going on? Shout outs to all the supporters. All right, game number three underway, and he goes for it. He like, get over here. All right, let's see what he gets. Goes for the setup. Oh, nice overhead. Keeping the pressure with the jabs in the corner. He backs up to, to try and... Ooh! Now, that's one thing that Hugo can make very good use of is people trying to jump in. If they don't have multiple hit jump-ins, that standard fierce has uh, upper body armor to it. So, it's definitely a good anti-air tool. Okay, nice block. Nice block from Geta. Ooh, Jeff, ooh, gets the stinger. Nice jump, Ferris. All right, Jaren has him in the corner. Okay, that is safe. All right, now they're both trying to fill each other out. Ooh, and he gets the stinger. And Jaren making it happen. Ooh, gets the clap. Oh, he tries to go for more link, trying to catch a press or something. He's just using that stinger. Oh, that hit, that hit, that hit meaty. Or hit delayed, should I say. Okay. Oh, same side. And Jaren's pressure is just relentless this round. This is definitely his game to lose right now. Ooh, he just misses that. Ooh, tries to catch him with the wall throw, and it's out of range. That is safe. So Jaren takes game number two over Geta 504. And Jaren is definitely not afraid to apply that pressure to a grappler. Because most people, when they play a grappler, they like to stay away because they're scared. He brings it to his house puts his boots on his couch 
And you know what he says, but I can't say that because it's PG for now. Alright, so game number four underway. Let's see what adjustments Geta can make. I think Jaren has caught on to him going for the... What is a, what is a wall carry? My apologies. I should know the names of these moves, but I'm not a big fan of grapplers, so... Eh. But Jaren has definitely been watching out for it and making him pay for going for it. So let's see if Geta slows it down and makes some adjustments. Ooh, catches him jumping. Geta definitely has to be careful jumping because he's been getting caught by a lot of stingers. Ooh, ooh, nice reset. Okay, has him in the corner. Ooh, gets caught by a jump, neutral jump fierce. Ooh, now that, now that jab was definitely, that was definitely, ooh, he catches him. Oh, and he's waking up with that stinger. Like I said, he's caught on to him going for it. And Hugo can... There is nothing Hugo can do. Unless he has super. I think he can go through it. Yeah, meat squash. There we go. Oh, and did you see that? It's hit invincible at a certain range. Okay, he catches him with the back throw. Has him in the corner nearly. Oh, catches him trying to get out. Ooh, uses the neck breaker to deal with him jumping. Oh, catches him with the stinger again. Oh, stays on the same side. Oh, and there's nothing he can do. He has to block this. Oh, wow. And Jaren is making it work, making it count. And he goes up 3-1 over Geta 504. Alright guys, so one thing that's definitely being a factor is I think Geta's getting a little bit a little bit too preemptive with his jumps because he's eating a lot of stingers. And it's kind of rough because Hugo. I still don't think Hugo's the strongest character, so he definitely has to work. He's not like a typical, like, he has to kind of work a little bit harder to get in on certain characters. So he definitely has to be careful with his jump-ins at this point, because as you can see, Jaren's ready for it. But right now, we got game number five on the way. Let's see if Gata can turn it around. Okay, game number five. Let's see what's happening. Ooh, catch him with the jab. Ooh, ooh, poking the light. Get over here. Ooh, gets the jump in. All right, Geta definitely playing more patient. Yeah, see, if you see, he's stopping his pressure now because he got caught by... Oh, that was a, that probably was a, was a botched SPD. Jaren uses that Ultra 1 early. He couldn't jump over him. He's too big. Nice blocks from Geta. He's definitely taking it a lot slower. Okay. Oh, wow. She had enough time to, to ground pounding. Oh, she could just be so mobile. Oh, and goes for the empty one to hit the ground and goes low. Smart stuff from Jaren. He's realizing that Geta really isn't anticipating it. Because I think Geta's expecting... Ooh, ooh, nice, nice links. Oh, links to hands. This is going to get bad. He's near stun territory. And there you have it. Let's see what combos we get. Drops his link. Oh, that was definitely SPD right there. And he gets the perfect. And Jaren is just on a tear right now.
And guys, this is a first to seven. This is a first to seven. All right, so, you know, like I said, that's one of the things we've made changes to with UFN. Because we are doing less, you know, because before we used to have five, six matches for UFN. We're limiting it to three or four just for the sake of, you know, being able to run it comfortably. Um, so, you know, we're going to be either doing first to five or first to sevens. Depending on what the players want. So right now it's 4-1. Getta has time to make a comeback. But if he loses this next one, that is going to be in a very big hill to climb. And right now Jaren is on fire. Jaren has momentum on his side. He's feeling good. He's pretty much doing what he wants to. So let's see. Oh, misses the misses the wall throw. Jump back jab. Oh, catches him with it. Oh, gets the meat squasher. Oh, gets this. Oh, gets the neck breaker. Uh oh. I think Geta woke up. Oh, uh, I think he's going for the OS. Okay, and Jaren didn't make nothing happen. And the trade clap for the win, and Geta takes round one to game number game number six. Oh, nice, nice stinger. Oh, wakes up with the reversal. Good stuff from Geta. Okay, catch him with the pressure. Okay, goes for the... Oh, that actually hit him. Oh, nice standing. Nice standing fierce. Oh, nice links. And Geta. Decided to wake up against Jaren. Geta slowing down that momentum. Showing that he's here to fight. That he's not no free ride, no free trip. And Geta makes it happen. Takes game number six over Jaren. All right, guys. Remember, if you guys enjoy what you see, you want to give me some shout outs on Twitter so I can respond to you on stream, tweet me at PXGIRedMan. We definitely have some action-packed entertainment for you guys tonight. Uh, main event is going to be XXK Samurai going up against Display Lags Hamad, the KIT Killer. And then we also got OG Shine, OG PXG Shine going up against your boy DRD Mag Negro. That should be dope. Viper Yang or, or Goku and Elena. We don't know. They both play multiple characters. And then also, the next match we have for you guys tonight is going to be AG Lucky D going up against High Quality Ryback. That is going to be an amazing match. I can't wait to see that. I think they actually played before in UFN like a year ago. I can't recall. But I'm definitely, you know, excited to see, you know, Lucky D coming off a top eight performance at Apex. I'm definitely interested to see how they both developed since the last time they've played. All right, so right now, Jaren starting off with the pressure as usual. Ooh, nice crouch medium punch into the hands. Ooh, the pressure is just so well. Ooh, nice block. Ooh, neutral jumps. Oh, he just teleports out of there. All right, let's see. Ooh. That's with the air drill. Oh, he's got he's actually been caught with that a few times to teleport into the jump roundhouse. Great stuff from Garen. Uh Jaren, excuse me. Ooh, gets the meat squasher. Goes for the setup. Ooh, nice overhead. And he has him trapped in the corner. He has one meter, so Jaren has to be uh, careful with the jumps. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I think that was an SPD. I think that was an SPD, but it didn't work out. Oh, I don't know where that hit from. Oh, and Jaren nearing stun. Oh, and he goes for the SPD. And Jaren increases his lead to 5 2. And, you know, get ahead the opportunity, but that Ultra, that Ultra 1 has paid off in a major way for Jaren in this matchup. His setups have been good. Now, I don't know. Now, this is what I want to know. This is, and, and I don't know if, if Geta is sure if it works or not. I'm not sure. But when he throws out the Ultra 1 and he teleports to kind of get behind him or whatever, can't Hugo Neckbreaker in the animation to, like save him from getting caught by the orb? That I don't know. But right now, the score is 5-2 in favor of Jaren over Geta 504. And shout out to PXG Lady Genesis and her curiosity. All right, guys, and remember, this is only the first game. This is only the first match. Or not the first game, excuse me. This is only the first match. We have a ton of content for you guys tonight. Great matches. Definitely don't want to miss that main event. That is definitely going to be exciting. All right, so let's see. Game number eight underway. Jaren has definitely been, you know, playing a great game, a great set. Geta has had some issues adjusting. He's had some great opportunities, but he's not closing and out finishing his plate. So let's see if he can make that happen. Ooh, gets a me squasher. Okay. I misses the follow up. Oh, I thought he was going to go for SPD. SPD probably would have worked. And Jaren just teleports to safety, catches him with the teleport fierce. Oh, and he just, yo, he's like, you know what? I got to snatch her up. Let him be a little bit more cautious. Ooh, and there you go, Stinger. He goes right into it. Ooh, nice blocks from Geta. And he gets the meat squasher. Let's see if he gets the follow-up. Oh, he doesn't need the follow-up. Yo, that does damage. That hurts. That definitely hurts. Okay, trade in favor of Hugo. Oh, he tried. He tried. He actually had the right idea, but it, nice delay from Jaren. Oh, nice job. Just comes over. Oh, he gets the neck breaker. Oh, he gets the throw. Let's see if he's going to go for Ultra. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Let's see what he does. And he's going to throw that Ultra 1. Okay, let's see. Oh! I respect the attempt, though. I didn't know if that would work or not. I didn't know if that would work or not. I respect the attempt. Oh, catches him. Uh-oh. Gets a knockdown. Wow. Wow. Wait. Did you see that? He was able to FADC, get on the other side, and throw him in the corner. Her stinger's hitbox is ridiculous. Oh, wow. Did you see that? What kind? What is that? All right. And Jaren... Now on match point over Geta 504. What was that though? That was crazy. All right, so Geta, he, his back's against the wall. This is def uh, this is a major hill to climb. That's ridiculous. Do you do you see? Her hip, the hitbox on her stinger, where it hit. That's ridiculous. That is indeed ridiculous. Ridiculi.
Be the key lie. Okay. Senpai. Alright. So, match point for Jaren. He's been putting on the show. Oh, he goes for the meat squasher. Ooh, catches him back dashing. Nice pressure from. Oh, he goes back. Oh, he goes low in the stun. And Jaren is looking poised to take this. Relentless aggression from Jaren. Yet it hasn't been able to react to it properly. Gets the jabs. Ooh, catches him on the other side. Now, interesting enough, I I'm surprised Jetta ha uh, Getta hasn't went for SPD. Like, you know, because every time they trade in the air, Jaren goes under him or stays in front of him. He has an SPD because it'll grab him either way. Uh, the EX one, at least. I'm not I don't know if his regular one. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, get Twerks on the face. Uh, and this is... And this might be it. And that's all she wrote. Jaren, representing Mass, Massachusetts, takes it over Ghetto 504. Appreciation from both players participating in this set. And we are going to get right into our next match.